I need a word. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who... ...stole that ship from Hope Tech? Grace Early? Yeah, I've heard the name once or twice. Sounds like you're making real progress. Good. Stay focused on the task at hand and don't take your eye off the target. That's how a ranger should think. What did you learn from this starship thief? Now we're getting somewhere. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I could give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. There was a mech driver in the 1st Cavalry named Marco Graziani. He came from money. And when the 1st Cav got a reputation as the top unit, he transferred in. Rumor was that bribes made it happen. Marco had a knack for getting hold of anything we needed. There was talk the family fortune came from smuggling, and I believe it. He had this dream to become a wealthy businessman when he got out. But I guess that got put on hold when they locked him up. They said she was a child prodigy, which probably explains her arrogance. Even so, she was fiercely loyal to Major Ho. I don't think she'd ever give him up. If you find her, don't expect her to cooperate. Like what? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead is posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. 
Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Free Star Collective space. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Free Star Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome. So be careful. Good hunting, deputy. this than being some Have a moment. let's be certain to stock up on some extra ammunition before we explore the will just around the city we have these jetpacks for a reason I'm just the courier. I understand that. I'm not blaming you directly. Dr. Salvato, how long have you been here? Uh, about a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake. And the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You may return to your duties. No matter how much we learn, we're only just barely staying ahead of the curve. I hate this delivery run. Can't ever get here fast enough. Welcome to the clinic. I'm Dr. Darvish, Chief of Medicine. Is there something I can do for you?
Are you? Because I don't have any appointments scheduled. We have a particular focus on astrovirology here. So the patients we take on tend to have unusual cases that require long-term care. And sometimes require... We have an excellent track record that speaks for itself, but it doesn't leave room for much else. Whatever business you may be here for, I trust that you will conduct it quickly and do so without interfering with my staff or our operations. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of new worlds that humanity has set foot on. While many don't host some sort of life, there are more than enough that do. Any one of those worlds could be inhabited by all manner of pathogens. Things we've never seen and have no idea how to treat. Someone has to try and stay ahead of what could be a very deadly curve. Here at the clinic, we do our best. If we do it right, no, not usually. An abundance of safety protocols are in place, and we have decades of experience. Ironically, this may be one of the safest environments in the Settle Systems. Would you now? Well, I suppose we could always use additional research specimens. The more data we have about what's out there in the Settle Systems, the faster we can diagnose novel illnesses. In theory, at least. I suppose we could consider you an independent contractor of sorts. We keep a database of known alien sedatives, but more data points are always welcome. If you could provide some samples, it would be appreciated. So you do. Thank you. This will directly aid our research. It's a grav drive. I literally can't get here any faster. Running this facility is a challenge, even when there isn't. There are hundreds. Any one of those... Someone has... And none of us are in this for the credits. We are on the absolute edge of modern medicine, and we are dedicated to helping people no one else can. Either of those is reason enough for any of us to be here and do what we do. I am, yes. I took over from Dr. Eswaran when he retired nine years ago. While the clinic does occasionally take on research projects that have their own chain of command, I am ultimately responsible for the entire... I'm afraid that information is confidential and restricted to our corporate partners funding the projects. The clinic has occasionally been faced with unique situations that might be considered hazardous in other facilities, but no, nothing that could not be contained and dealt with. Certainly. Goodbye. Thanks for delivering critical supplies would be nice to hear once in a while. Not exactly a hotbed of criminal activity here. Well, that suits me fine. Worst I usually have to deal with is folks worried about getting diagnosed fast enough. Can't blame them. I'm just here to keep the peace. You need medical help, I'm the last person. You want to talk to? Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. 
You're the new deputy, ain't you? Yeah, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Yep, I'm pretty well caught up on things. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? Well, I think you made the right decision to come here. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> You can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. And just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge around here. And she's also in the council of governors. Most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here, and I ain't fond of them right back. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ever Ari. A dull moment. Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> you have a hey, nice day, Chief. Now. A little more of the former than the latter. What brings you by? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone who might be a patient. I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll leave you and Mr. Miller. It's capable hands. You need anything else, I'll be in my office. I'll try to help you, but our computer... We don't give the patients free access to our computer system, so uh, I doubt that's related. That's still, it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? That should be more than enough. I can access the patient records from my terminal, assuming the database cooperates. Come on. Need to make sure those files are backed up. Okay, give me just a minute here. Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. Okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found for a Maya Cruz.
Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. I guess it's possible. Maybe I can give you another option. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace, what's her last name? Doolin, Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman, I think her name's Jane. Off the top of my head, yeah. That being said, we don't usually have a lot of patients staying here at any one point in time. Most people can't afford it. Sorry I couldn't be more helpful. I'll keep looking, see if I can turn up anything else useful. Understands. It must be terribly frightening for them. This place makes me feel awful cooped up. Oh, I miss having my hands in the soil. Why, hello. Are you here to keep me company? I, I do hope so. I can't get any of these doctors or nurses to slow down and, and just check for a while. They all claim they're too busy. It certainly is. Why, well, I might as well be back home with my husband. He's just as bad, always too busy to talk. That man couldn't sit still and listen if his life depended on it. You'd think he could be bothered to pay me a visit once in a while, given I've been here as long as I have. But no. All I get is the occasional letter apologizing because he's too busy to run the farm all by himself. So hire some help, I tell him. And then all he wants to do is complain about how my medical bills ate up all our money. Ugh. Perhaps we should move on. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it terribly boring for you to hear about how I'm ignored and neglected on a daily basis, hmm? You know, and that's just the problem with people these days. Everyone's got their head buried in a slate. Can't be bothered to talk to a real person. I swear, I'd get more companionship from a robot. You want to talk about questions, uh-huh. Well, I've got plenty of those. Starting with how come these so-called doctors can't find anything wrong with me? I've got no end of pains, headaches, sore knees, a sore back, digestive problems, and, and, and all manner of other ailments. I keep telling them I must have caught some kind of alien virus. But these fool doctors can't figure. I'd had test after test for three months straight, and I'm damn near broke from the cost of staying here. Well, ain't you smart using them big words? If that's supposed to make me feel better, I got news for you. It don't. I thought the high and mighty Free Star Rangers were supposed to help others in need. You ask me, I think that sterling reputation's getting a little tarnished lately. Well, go on then. Don't let the troubles of one poor citizen distract you from whatever higher calling you all answer to these days. I feel safer just having you nearby. So nice to speak to you, Deputy. If you want to come and keep me company again, 
won't complain. Mm -mm. Hello, this is my private room. Please leave. Excuse me, what gives you the right to come in here? You're not my attending physician. Get out before I call for security. <laughs> There's a Free Star Ranger stationed here, and if you don't leave, I'll have him called in <laughs> to deal with you. Well, I suppose I can give you a minute. Believe me, I hadn't intended to stay here. I'm a courier. I was transporting certain sensitive documents here to the clinic. My ship was intercepted by pirates. I escaped, but not without damage to my life support systems. By the time I reached the clinic, I was barely alive. <sighs> I was rescued and placed in intensive care. That was two days ago. Well, the nature of my work requires a certain level of discretion. Much as yours does. I've shared all that I'm willing to share with you, deputy. Not my problem. Maybe we can still work something out. I'd like to tell you, I really would. All right, look. Nothing I told you was a lie, but yes, there is more to it. You can think of me as a freelance information broker. I came here to acquire classified research materials so I can sell them. Yeah, I realize it's illegal, but it's a victimless crime. <laughs> Nobody gets hurt. As you can imagine, I'd rather this information not get out. I'm happy to compensate you for your understanding. Do what you feel you must. I'm sure Ranger Armistead will be more amenable to my offer. Don't let this fool sway your decision. Hmm? You're doing the right thing. When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. I have an important personal decision to make, but I need to discuss something with you first. Phew, thank you. So, where to start? Um, before I was with the Navigator Corps, I was career military, part of the United Colonies Navy. When the Colony War broke out, I was posted as the Chief Navigator on a warship, the Dauntless. Well, the position didn't last long. There was a particularly bloody battle. We were fighting over a world in the Aeta Cassiopeia system. Worst fighting I'd ever seen. We lost 12 ships that day. 12, including my own. I'm well aware how many lives were lost. Now let me finish. The ship was barely intact. The captain and first mate died the previous day, which put me in command. A shrewd captain would have called for the crew to abandon ship, but I was so angry. I wanted to stay. I needed to fight.
The Dauntless was a tough little ship. No shields and the hull was breached, but it still had power. And weapons. That's why I remained in the battle. Huge mistake. Well, I didn't have the luxury of indecision. I had to act. We fought for hours, but the damage was fatal. I gave the order to abandon ship and the crew piled and as the shuttle launched, I could see it was damaged. I... I heard screams before the radio cut. The last thing I saw, they were spiraling helplessly towards the planet's surface. There was... There was nothing I could do. You're sorry. For me? If I hadn't been so stubborn, so eager to prove that I could handle command, my crew would have had more time to escape. Yes, they expected to serve on the best ships, with the best captains. The crew of the Dauntless had to settle for me. When the dust settled, the United Colonies gave me a medal. Can you believe that? A damn medal! I never even had a chance to find the shuttle wreckage and give my crew a proper burial. Maybe. I don't know. The entire experience feels so... hollow. Remember when you said no one but me would have pushed harder to keep the Navigator Corps going? Well, this time, pushing too hard cost lives. Don't you get it? Everything I do, everything I touch, somehow falls apart. That's why I'm worried about... us. Look. It's clear the two of us are becoming more than partners. We're becoming close friends. Even though I've pushed people away in the past, I feel different when I'm around you. I feel... safer. Comfortable. Not afraid to admit who I am. I'm terrified I'm going to screw that up. All this nonsense, and you still have faith, eh? You really care about me, don't you? I feel exactly the same way. Phew. I didn't think that would be so draining. Thank you for being there, for listening to me when I needed it the most. I'll never forget this. I promise. We get the cases no one has ever seen before. I remember when I was a deputy, just starting out, long time. The woman who got rescued from her ship? I doubt she just up and volunteered to tell you that.
Well, that's good work. You focus on your case and leave Miss Nakamori to me. I'll see to it she doesn't cause any more trouble. Hey, how'd it go? Did you have any luck? Okay, shoot. The courier? Yeah, that's right. It was real touch and go there for a while. She was lucky to pull through. I remember my first. Yep, she practically lives here. I gotta think the money's gonna run out sometime soon, though. It's kinda sad, really. She clearly wants attention and someone to talk to. Just between us? I get the feeling that things with her husband aren't great. I made some progress digging through the patient records, and I have one more lead for you. Her name's Catalina Rivera. She was rushed into surgery for some kind of emergency procedure. I probably shouldn't say this, but she was in real bad shape. The good news is, she seems to fit your suspect's profile. The bad news is that she's a guest in our VIP wing. That area is restricted to authorized clinic personnel. Even I can't go in there. Think of it as high-end care, with bigger rooms, better food, and more amenities. Cost a fortune, of course. The VIP wing also provides privacy, and that's why only a select few staff members are allowed in. Yeah, well, I don't think the doctors here care all that much about where the Rangers are supposed to go. Dr. Cassidy's in charge of the VIP wing. You need his permission to enter. Unfortunately, he's a real stickler for the rules, and the rules say no visitors without prior arrangement. You didn't hear this from me, but I happen to know that he keeps a spare access card somewhere in his office. Hope that helps you. Assistance, please see Ari Miller at the desk. Yes, what do you want? I'm sorry, but we don't permit unscheduled visitors to that area. You'll need to ask whoever it is that you wish to visit to make arrangements with me. Who exactly are you? And I require you to respect my authority as a senior doctor here at the clinic. The answer is no. The rules are the rules. No exceptions. Oh, my goodness. Are we really going to let this bureaucrat block our progress? Oh, I wasn't aware. I suppose if I can't trust a colleague, then I can't trust anyone. This will get you in. Conduct your investigation quickly and without disruption. I do hope you won't make me regret this. Stopping at the clinic to do a bit of Xeno research, eh? Count me in.
really hope someone comes to take a look at me. I have things for you. Sometimes I just want to turn off the grab drive so we can float around. Talk to me. Just here for a chat? Hey! How are you? Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Thinking of something else. Uh, yes, Captain. I must confess, the hum of a grab drive makes me feel alive. Yeah, take a look at this. Until later. Your ship is Let's way Let's get out there and that. do something new today. All righty. Hey, how are you? Seals are good, air pressure good, and we're docked.
Ah, now I can see why Stroud Eklund set up shop here. That crystalline formation looks quite intriguing and valuable. Sensors had detected possible enemy activity. stock up on junk.
It's like an enormous geode. Crystalline formations like this are incredibly rare. Why this place was abandoned, I'll never understand.
see what kind of information you can get off of there.
fancy a bit of spelunking, do we? Valuable?
beginning combat protocol. What are you waiting for? Finish it! Yeah. We've got a base, a good one, too. Spend months of my life getting that place up and running. As for where it is, <laughs> you're going to have to figure that out on your own. Because uh, that's what we were hired to do. The pay was good, too. But the best part was getting to stick it to the people who turned their backs on us. <laughs> I can't wait until you find out. Of course it is! We spent 20 years behind bars because our leaders got scared and called off our attack just when we had the battle won. And did the people of the Free Star Collective that we fought and died for come to our defense? No. They did nothing. Nothing! Ah. Well, now they can die. Just like most of our unit did. Fine. I ain't feeling conversational anyway. Of course I ain't. What kind of fool would be eager to die? I'm just not stupid enough to deny what's inevitable. I wish I were. <sighs> How about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live and I ain't spending them behind bars. You want to put an end to me here and now? Then fine. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, 
Then leave me in peace. Well, how about a test? Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you'll learn something useful. Now get out of here and leave me in peace.
This is certain to make us both very happy indeed. If you're looking for work, Mayor Cartwright might have something.
Hey, deputy. Diego Monroe, at your service. Oh. This says I spend too much time at my terminal. She's probably right. Hey there, deputy. Way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Freestar Collective to the other. How do you like the job so far? That's good to hear. So, what brings you by? Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. In the meantime, you be careful out there, deputy. From what I've heard, these mercs mean business.